What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. And for this video, we are back up in Redding, California. No, I did not go back up to Redding, California, but I still have several videos from that area I have not put out yet. I like to jump around a little bit, give you guys a little bit from a different area here and there. Today, we're at the Department of Fish and Game in Redding, California. I just wanted to do a walkthrough around their building. I had just left the Redding Police Department when I went and did this. So I just wanted to check out Fish and Game. They were right down the street. We did so. Go ahead and check the video out. As always, follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Give us a share, like, and subscribe. Support the Bay Fan. Join the Bay Fam. All love. I'm out. Alright, let's check out kind of the back area. Let's see how they're doing back here. Alright, I went immediately right here because that dude was going in, so I just wanted to check him out. Get an organic reaction. He's probably gonna go in and tell somebody right now. And we will see and get a very clear organic reaction from these people. What was that? No, I'm good. Can I help you with something? Well, are you videotaping our facility? Okay. Just curious why. Oh, just checking it out. Taking some pictures, so. That's strange. Why would you do that? Why not? I don't know. Why would you do it? Well, uh, again, why not? I would. I would respond with the question, "Why not?" <laughs> okay. All right. Just curious. It seems suspicious. That's all. We've had some trouble and break-ins and stuff here before. That's why I want to come out and talk to you. Oh, well, it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not breaking in, right? Okay. So it's pretty clear. Okay. So. Anyways, cool. All right. And they caught me before I go to this other side and check everything out. They caught me, or I should say they noticed me. Let's go check out back here. Oh, it looks like a little homeless encampment on the side of the, not an encampment, but a little area for people. Let's see if I wish I had some money on me. I'd see if they need anything. Well, let's check this out. Employees only. Oh, bumped it. Pretty cool. So I'm assuming the dude who asked me why I was doing this maybe knew what this was, what I was doing. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So bear with me, Vicka. Sorry, I'm mumbling. I'm trying to be quiet. No, tomorrow at noon. Send. All right, how about you? You okay? I'm great. How, how you doing? I'm good. Awesome. Oh, maybe I'll go back that way. Yeah, doing what you, good. What are you trying to do? Uh, just, just uh, cool pictures, you know?
Set this area up. Awesome. Kind of dark. Cool. Do 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 do. Let's try this one. That's cool. Oh, this fucking sun's right in my way. Oh, he's coming in. Cool. Now we gotta do that now. Awesome. How's it going? Good, how are you guys doing? Pretty good, pretty good. There. We got a. I see you're a, a fellow photographer. Yeah. Awesome. He likes pictures too. Cool. That's it. I like pictures, man. Pictures are good. What's your name? Brian's my name. Brian. Do you guys have um, employee numbers or anything? Yep, you got we have employee numbers. Badge number, employee yep, number? I got badge numbers. And what is it? My badge number is 502. Cool. All right, Brian 502. Was that a, a company phone or a personal phone? That's uh, none of your business. Well, I just need to know what phone to request all the information off of because you took a picture of me. Public record because you're on duty right now, right? We're out in public, so I can no, take a photograph of Oh, I get like it. You can. Totally can. But yeah. the thing is, is, since you're on duty, that becomes a public record. So don't erase it, because I can request that, as well as other information in that phone. So if you don't want me to ask for your personal phone, that's what I'm asking. If that's That way I can keep your you privacy just, a little. Look, I'm not giving you any of my information. Okay. So I just I ask for your you personal want. phone? I gave you my badge number. I'm just making sure you don't come in and do any harm to any of the property in here. And that's what I'm here Oh, for. that's not my intent. I just, I'll, I can ask for your personal phone. I just don't, I don't want to ask for your personal phone if it's not your personal phone, right? I don't, I'm not going to be I telling just, you anything about I just my want the picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be telling you anything. I, I'm... So listen, I'm doing this more for, so don't tell me anything. Just shh, listen, okay? Be quiet and listen. This is more for your protection because what's gonna happen is when I request that picture and other information on the phone like emails, text messages, and so on that were sent around this time or anything, they're gonna give it to me. If it's your personal phone, you're gonna have to give it up. And then I get personal shit that's, that's not, if it's not your personal phone, I don't wanna get your personal stuff. That's so, it's more for your protection. That's why I'm asking. Well, act how you want. It's up to you. We got Brian needs some blood pressure medication, man. He's excited. There's no need to be excited. He's trying to save him the hassle of giving me his personal shit. Oh, Jesus. I want your personal shit. I got no interest in your personal life. Ain't you busy? Got stuff to do? I would, I would go do my job, huh? So they test this guy last name Boyd to follow me. Like that's a good allocation of resources or something like Probably poachers out here, all kind of shit going on. This guy's 
hanging out with a camera, man. It's kind of dumb. What's going on, Smiley? How you doing? Oh, I guess they're closed for COVID, huh? That's interesting. This office is temporarily closed. Oh, here we go. Here's where complaints can go about Brian wasting our time. Let's just get some pictures. Oh, nice. Nice, clear ones. Oh, they got the right flag up. Licenses. Blue collared shirt guy. Man, he look like he ain't doing shit either. Now I understand. You guys don't do nothing here. Holy cow. Come on, Brian, let's take a walk. Oh, here we go. So this is how a fishing game got. Come on, man. What? Follows us. Start. Move. That's how a fishing game guy follows somebody with a camera looking angry and uptight. Could try to smile. I've cracked a couple of jokes. He doesn't think they're funny. You can laugh at dumb jokes too, no big deal. But he's just grumpy. I don't know. Oh! Let's go on the side over here. We pretty much got that whole area. Hey, right, Brian, I'm out of here, man. You take care, all right? Smile the next guy you talk to, huh? No need to be grumpy. No, I'm not too grumpy. No? Oh. Maybe I mistook it. I really was asking about your phone for your protection, so it wasn't like a dick thing to do. I'm just saying I don't want your personal shit. That's your personal life, man. And then I exposed it and put it all out on the internet. That's not cool, right? So I, that's why I was asking. Anyways, um... I'm going to go home real quick, but I'll be back and probably just give you guys a heads up. I'll probably be back in about an hour um, because I need to get some aerial uh, photos. So I'm going to bring my drone and just get some stuff. So if I'm back and you guys hear a drone, me again, okay? Do you have a pilot's license for your drone? What was that? Do you have a pilot's license for your drone? Uh, I mean, you know. No. I'm not telling you anything, remember? <laughs> sure. But if you're flying a drone, just to let you know, you do have to have a pilot's license. It's not true. And if it's restricted airspace and you're flying in that airspace, you need to talk to the airport. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I I uh, know a lot about that stuff. Dude. And um, this isn't restricted airspace. I've checked it out already. And um, as far as the pilot's license go, you guys can't ask anyway, so it don't matter. Right. And as well, flying a drone, you can fly a drone without a pilot's license. So you can't fly a drone out of your sight without a pilot's license. There's a big difference. Check out FAA. Big difference. On top of that, it's a federal regulation. It has nothing to do with fish and game. So, I mean, you guys would could come and ask for it, but it wouldn't. I, I mean, I wouldn't have to give it to you. Uh, so, but anyways, I'll be back with the drone maybe in an hour or maybe tomorrow. Just so you guys know, I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Do you guys not want me to take the aerial photos? It's just, I mean, Google, how everybody has them, right? So, yeah, let me just kind of explain to you. I don't, I don't know who you are, okay? Right. Um, some of our guys deal with people that are um, more hardcore and issue death threats and that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. understand from my perspective, uh, just kind of where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not stopping you from doing your photograph and anything like that. It's a public place. I totally get it. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. But 
what I'm what I am saying is that's why I'm concerned that you're walking around taking pictures of vans and plates and all that stuff. It's just for my people's concern. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, yeah, but the one thing I would say is like is like why wouldn't you have just said that in the beginning, all cool and normal like that, instead of like when you took a picture and I start asking you and I'm not telling you anything and, and being all, uh, slightly, you know, passive aggressive. If you would have came up to me like that, I probably would have said, hey, what's up? My name's Jay, which it is. Um, well, I go by Jay. And uh, this is what I'm doing, man. I'm out here doing a First Amendment audit. And uh, I hope you guys pass because I'd like to make you guys look good on camera um, because that's truly how I feel. You know what I mean? I'm pro law enforcement. But all I do is point the camera and let reactions speak for themselves. I like to get organic reactions. So next time, if you would have said something like that, dude, it probably would have been way better, man. But well, I, I don't know who you are. I get it. So it's, you know, you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, too? I'm Jay and I'm a resident here and I I, I don't, I, I just say I'm pro law enforcement. And none of your guys have ever pissed me off and I, I don't have anything against you guys at all. So you haven't been disrespectful to me in that way. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that way, Jay, but you understand where I'm coming from. I, I, I get a lot of crazy stuff goes down. I have people pull guns on me. I have, it's kind of a different world nowadays than it used to be. So that's why I'm always cautious about everything. That's that's pretty much the nature of my job mm -hmm. to make sure that I don't get shot or stabbed. For or sure, you don't want to die. So, <laughs> and and what I told you about the filming, like I said, it's a public place. You can film what you want, but that's my concern was initially is hey, look, is this person collecting information for somebody that he's going to pass for a hit or those kind of things are the things that I think about. It's. It may not be crossing your mind. I don't know, but yeah. I'm just letting you know what. No, I, I under, I know, I get it. Trust me, I get it. But at the same time, like, like, uh, you know, we like to say, the U.S. citizens aren't your enemies. I understand you guys have people who are maybe radical at times, but it's actually a proven fact nowadays that law enforcement is one of the safest jobs out there. It's not even in the top ten most dangerous jobs. What I do for a living is actually more dangerous than what you do. So a lot of guys say that, and I know that your training tells you be cautious, be aware, nothing is normal, you know, uh, uh, your 21 foot rule you guys have and all that stuff or, or whatever it is. I get all that stuff. At the same time, um, situational awareness, I think, is a big part of it and like assessing a situation and a person's demeanor and people's demeanor can change like this. I get that, but... Yeah, dude, if you would have been super calm and cool, I would have just told you what I was doing. So, But anyways, man, next time you guys will see me again. And I appreciate the cordial conversation afterwards. So take care, man, and stay safe, please. And thank you for what you guys do as well because I, I appreciate it. I don't like poachers, man. I freaking bow hunt and stuff, and I don't like poachers. Take care of yourself, man. Awesome. That guy wasn't bad, guys. He was not bad at all. At first, he was standoffish, and I understand why. At the same time, he turned into a human after a bit and uh, not a robot. And so I appreciate that. Department of Fish and Game.